Hey there, welcome back to another video in this OpenCV tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your uh, kernel to sharp images or to blur your images or basically how kernel works in general. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys, as you can see here, I have imported CV2 and a NumPy library. After that, I have read my image and I have created an image function to show my image. So that I don't have to repeat these three lines whenever I am trying to uh, print my image. So let's see what is the image here. So, this. so as you can see here, we have this image. So let's first talk about how blurring works or how you can blur your images in CV, uh, in Open CV. So let's take blur equal to, and you have to use the function cv2 dot blur, and there. You need to provide the image that you need to blur and after that you need to provide the kernel size so we will talk what is a kernel in just a minute so let's take uh, let's take 7 by 7 you can take anything it's up to you it should be a 2d shape kernel and let's do this now let me just close this now if i need to print blur uh, let's so as you can see here this image is blurred let me just tell you how blurring works or how you can use this kernel if you decrease the value first let me tell you this if you decrease the value of this kernel then it is going to this image will not be that much blurred let me just close it and now if you will see as you can see it is a little bit blurry but not at, uh, but not as much as it was before so now what i can what I am going to do, I am going to tell you how blurring works or how kernel works in general. So let's take an example. Suppose let's suppose this is an image. Let's take this is an image and every cell is a pixel. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six by five pixel. Uh, six four uh, six by five uh, resolution image, and now let's say we are taking a kernel of, uh, kernel of uh, let's say two by two. So this is our kernel, and you should know that there are in these blocks there are, there is nothing but uh, some numbers that are referred as pixel values. So it could be anything, and those numbers decide, uh, and those numbers decides. Uh, which color it is going to show so let's suppose it is 5 it has 5 it has 6 it has 1 and it has 7 it can have anything it is it depends on the image and let's take we have uh, minus 1 1 or let's take plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 so how kernel is going to work uh, So how kernel is going to work basically it is going to work as a sliding window and what it is going to do first it is going to be over here over this frame and what it is going to do it is going to multiply 5 with this one 6 with this minus 1 1 with this minus 1 and 7 with this 1 and it is going to add these values so what it is going to do 5 minus 6 minus 1 and plus 7 so it is going to do 5 so in the new image that the image that is being generated the first pixel value will be 5 similarly now in the next step what it is going to do it is going to move this kernel from there to here and that will generate the second pixel and similarly it is going to do this then this now after in the new row it is going to be here so uh, like this it is going to generate a whole new picture now what are the values of kernel should be there so that it can blur an image or it can sharp an image so it depends on the type of blurring that you are doing so the blurring that we did here is called as average blurring and for average blurring what we need is we need some values like this in every pixel value 
so every kernel value will have 0.11111 and it is going to blur the image and if you want to uh, let's say if you want to sharp the image so what it is going to do let's say we have 3 by 3 met, uh, kernel so it is going to be minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 it is going to be everywhere minus 1 except here it uh, is going to be 9 now one more thing that how can we determine like what is the difference between a sharp image or a blur image so let me just show you that and wait a second yeah so let's think so let's think like these lines represent the intensity of the pixel or the value of the pixel so for a sharp images it is going to be like this it can have different kind of values which can be very well apart so it could be a color like it could be a dark color and it could be a bright color so this is going to be a very sharp image now if we will talk about a blurry image it is going to be something like this so let's take first we have here then we have here every value is going to be similar to other value it is not going to be too much different let's do this and this is how a blurry image will look or oh, this is how a blurry image is different from a sharp image i hope that you get the idea how blurring works and how everything works and this is the same step in the convolution layer in uh, convolutional neural networks so in convolutional layer we are use we use basically different kind of uh, kernels and we use a lot of kernels like even hundred of kernels to own an image to find out some uh, features about the image so this is how a kernel works and now you can apply every kind of kernel onto your image so let's make a kernel so i'm going to do uh, let me just close it so kernel and i'm going to make an np array and i'm going to make 2d so 2d array so 0 0.11 uh, let's take 0 0.111 So as you can see here it has the value and it is going to do this, this same kind of blurring like it is doing so let me just uh, how you can do is let's take kernel kernel blur and now we need to use a function cv2 dot kernel or it is not kernel it is filter 2d in this you need to provide your original image that is going to be img and then what you need to do is you need to give minus one because this is going to determine automatically the depth of the image let's say you are talking about a color image so it has three depths basically it has three channels rgb so it is going to automatically determine the channel number of channels and then here i need to give my kernel okay and let me just save all uh, these images as well uh, so we can compare them so uh, cv2 dot i am right and here i need to give the path so I, what i'm going to do is this was an png image so i will save it as a png as well and here i need to also provide the image that i want to save to blur and similarly like let me just see okay so i think it should be like this um let's say blur so yeah now i am also going to save kernel blur okay kernel let's go blur and i need to give test 2.png kernel blur is not defined okay i need to run this and p is not defined so yeah. in the import numpy import numpy test and p 
now kernel not this and not this so we have images here so let's take a look this is the average blurring that was happening with the blur function and as you can see uh, it is not much because we were using only a kernel of 3 by 3 size now let's take a look at the image that we have done and it is kind of uh, you know uh, creating the same kind of image that was generating with this image so this was uh, this is the original image this is the test one image and this is the test two image so this is how you can blur your images or how you can sharp your images if you want to sharp the same image uh, let's take this and make this 7 times 7 oh no 3 times 3 so if you want to sharp your images you just need to change all of these values to minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and it should be 9 in between and it is going to sharp your images you should practice that and that by yourself uh, and guys this was it um, but if you want to blur there are different kind of blurs that you can do in OpenCV so let's do first uh, Gaussian blur Gaussian blur and it is also going to take I think a value uh, let's say 5 I guess okay so blur and I am going to show this image image blur so this is the image that is blurred by Gaussian uh, blur so here this is showing you the uh, uh, what do we say standard deviation in the x direction and you need to provide it here otherwise it is not going to work and another kind of blur is known as median blur and it is going to create an image which will look like it has been painted using uh, you know watercolors so let make uh, let me median and here what you need to do here you just need to give the kernel size like 5 and this is it now if you will do image blur as you can see here it is kind of like it has been painted using hands so this is the kind of blur which is median blur and similarly you can also sharp your images if you want to uh, sharp your images you can use normal kernel so this was it for this video and you should practice this a lot and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.